Prozac is an interesting one. It's one of my favorite antidepressants. You mentioned Zoloft and Lexapro first. One of the reasons you said that is those don't cause major interactions with other medications. Prozac is interesting. It has a very long half-life. Once you've been taking the medication for a period of time, your blood level remains stable. If you miss a dose, you're not going to really notice it. It is a 2D6 inhibitor, which is an enzyme in your liver that metabolizes all sorts of medications. So there's all sorts of interactions with other types of medications. And Prozac is an activating SSRI. Different SSRIs have different characteristics and qualities. For example, we think of fluoxetine brand name Prozac as being one of the more activating or energizing SSRIs. We think about paroxetine or brand name Paxil as being mm -hmm. one of the more sedating SSRIs. Different people experience medications differently. Sometimes, and many of the other SSRIs are in the middle. Sometimes patients with anxious distress will get more anxious with an activating antidepressant. Sometimes they'll feel much better. Yeah. So I think following the clinical response, getting a sense of what's worked for patients in individualizing your treatment plan is, is good for them. Yeah, individualize is right. I use Prozac first line to treat OCD all the time. If a patient is complaining that he's feeling like fatigued, he or she is feeling fatigued, perhaps I'll utilize that activation of the Prozac. If I have a patient that's like on the go, on the move, traveling a lot, doc, I can't reliably take a medication every 24 hours. I don't want to be tied down. What if I'm traveling? My effects are, I missed a dose. I felt like crap. The Prozac gives them a little bit of a longer sort of leash here. 